This episode is sponsored by Zazzle.com. Let's face it, you love us. Why not use the coupon code EVERYDRINK13 at Zazzle.com and save 10% off $50 or more on awesome shirts, mugs, and accessories you probably don't need but want real bad. Remember code EVERYDRINK13. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Eric Schomer, and today we're making the silk sheets. Not as the world turns. Yes. <laughs> this recipe was submitted by Lori, who also happens to be my cousin. So she found, I don't even know, I didn't ask her. She said, Phew. she said it's just like any other person, except she said it's in my work address, but whatever. Um, this recipe has one ounce of Chambord, one ounce of Godiva white chocolate liqueur, and one ounce of tequila. Now, I'm thinking she's probably using Patron because I think I've seen it on the shelf. I think. I could be wrong. I'm using Paquit. Paquit. 40% 40 alcohol. It's going to do the same thing. It's Blanco. It's white. Didn't get the color. She didn't say. it's not going to give you the burnt tire. No, it's not going to give you burnt tires. But I'm thinking it was supposed to be clear. I'm going clear. I've got those already pre-poured. It's one ounce of everything. The only thing I haven't done an ounce of is this. And I don't have another measuring thing right now so i'm gonna give it a try and see what happens i'm thinking this is the the, the it's layered i just don't know if i'm gonna get it right the she gave me chambord godiva tequila so typically that's in order the layers in that specific order so if i put the white chocolate on and it moves under then i don't know i guess that's just what happens but i'm thinking they should layer because I'm guessing there's more sugar than alcohol in the Chambord. So we shall see. Yeah, it's layering on top. Well, that's good. Now, I think the tequila should be fine. Tequila should layer right on top because it's a core spirit. A lot of the core spirits tend to layer good on top. Of the sugary ones? Yeah. Of course, this could be the first time I'm wrong about that, so we'll find out. It's seeming to pour. You're dripping it all over. Yeah, it place. seems to pour more on me. Woo! Cool. Oh, I forgot that was tequila, not something sweet. Right to the top. It's kind of cloudy, actually. The, uh,. The tequila, because it's clear, it easily shows, I don't know, maybe errors or they're very close in, in weight where they blend a little bit. But that, it does layer the cream and the the, uh, the Godiva and the Chambord layer perfectly. So that's kind of cool. Silky looking. Silk sheets. You ready for this? I'm going to drown myself because it's so full. Finished. Oh, it tastes just like I just ate silk sheets. Really? No. You make a habit of eating silk sheets? <sighs> um, you know, it's very, it's got that shampoo pretty much fits well with anything. And the good part in this specific cocktail, it's not as sweet as, say, a grenadine. It's much more like a dark berry, raspberry beautiful taste to it with the chocolate chocolate and raspberries definitely get the tequila the tequila is where your intensity comes in the others are very smooth of course if you use a rough tequila it's probably not going to be very silk sheety um but another word i made up somebody's got to write all this stuff down um because i just make it up as i go along nobody cares it's it's probably true it's it is smooth but it's also still intense the the two these two flavors here Make it very nice and enjoyable. And then the tequila comes in and says, but you're still drinking a cocktail or you're still taking a shot, right? And so you should feel some of that pain. So there's an explosion at the end of intense, like, not kind of burning, but not alcohol burn, just like an intensity, like a very bright tequila fire. But since it's good tequila, it's a good fire. There's bad fires. Lots of burn yeah, things forest down. Forest fires. Forest fires are bad. Says Smokey. 
chick. And the owl guy. And the California people. Does the guy licks all the lollipops? No, that's something different. A one, a two. Never mind. Um, tasty, a good, I would say, a shot for somebody who's ready and willing to accept a little bit of intense alcohols, but still likes their sweet, flavorful drinks. Not very hardcore, but not softcore. <laughs> it doesn't sound right. But it's just right in between. Some place for somebody who's got a little experience to take a shot and enjoy the entire ride. So there you go. That's the Silk Sheets. Thank you, Lori. That's EverydayDrinkers.tv. She knows where it is. You know where it is. Have a, what do go we got? There. 2011, huh? Go there. Go. Yes. Go there for 2011 because it's a new year. It's time to start drinking. <laughs> this doesn't sound right. But we'll go. Well, you're sort of ahead. Yeah. Whatever.